It's hard to tell through the freezing fog, but this isn't your typical field trial. We're at Prestwold Hall near Loughborough in Leicestershire for the inaugural UK St Hubertus Cup. It's a competition for hunt, point, retrieve dogs and their owners. Unlike the usual field trial, it's as much about the hunter as the dog. Marlin Hewins, who's helped to organise the day, explains. It's supposed to mimic a, a rough shooting day and, and it's very much about the ethical side of shooting, uh, about sportsmanship, you know, only shooting pointed birds and that sort of thing. We've got 10 competitors and we did a draw this morning to determine the order of the running. Each competitor gets 20 minutes. He's allowed to shoot a maximum of four cartridges, but he has to carry with him at least six cartridges. So if he has spent those four cartridges, he still has to carry a loaded gun, but he's not allowed to fire it again. It's also that the, the jury can assess the hunter and it, it, about safety, sportsmanship, that sort of thing. So if you look at the scoring, there's 20 points available for the shooting. So you get 10 points if you shoot a, a bird. So obviously you're trying to get two birds, so that's 20 points. There's 50 points available to the hunter and only 30 to the dog. But in the hunter, 50 points, there's a lot about the relationship between the dog and the hunter. So, but yeah, when you're looking at just purely on the dog, it's just 30 out of the 100. We've got two judges that are experienced handlers and shooters themselves. So at the end of the day, the hunter and dog team with the best score wins the trophy. Yeah, well, provided that they have shot at least um, one bird or one piece of game, and also that the, the scores for the dog and the hunter are at least in the satisfactory bracket. You need to score a minimum of like half the points that you could get, if that makes sense. Okay. So if your dog is mediocre, you're mediocre and you shot one bird, you could be in for an award. But if you haven't shot on a bird or your dog is crap, then uh, you can also not get an award. <laughs> Marlin is competing herself today with her German wirehead pointer, Texas. Just turn two. So it's his first season, really. I don't expect much from him today, but yeah, we hope. We hope you'll find something. I kind of feel I've got nothing to lose, so I'm not too worried about it. Obviously, it'd be nice to do well, but if we don't, then so be it. Try and look at it as a good day out with friends and shooting and dogs and, you know, what could go wrong. <laughs> Marlin has drawn number five, so for now she joins the gallery of spectators to watch the earlier competitors do their thing. There's not much scent today, maybe due to the freezing conditions. The dogs are bumping game. Without a point, the hunter isn't allowed to shoot. Marlin's turn arrives. She answers the judge's questions about her gun and cartridges, and she's off. Sicko. It started with a bit of a headwind actually, but the temperature really dropped. I think we got up to a bit of a brow. Yeah, he ran pretty well. He came on point, I thought well, this is something, but it clearly just ran on and it, there was a game crop not far from there, so probably run into there. But no, he ran pretty well, I thought, but just was not pointing because incredibly difficult pointing conditions or scenting conditions. And then typically, the, the end of the field happened before the end of my run, so we had to break midway through, so nerves started to kick back in again. <laughs> and I moved around to here and, uh, yeah, started running in here. There were a couple of walkers, weren't there, and I was umming and ahhing whether to keep pushing him that way. In hindsight, if I'd pulled that way, then we wouldn't have put up the hair that we did, which he then whoop, 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 followed <clears throat> shortly, briefly. But no, yeah, other than that, he, he was super steady to everything that, that got up. He didn't chase, you know, give chase or anything. And uh, so I, I am pleased. Even if I didn't get a shot off, I am pleased. 
I didn't end up on minus points. <laughs> <laughs> the next few competitors are still struggling to get a point in the cold and fog. Then, just as the sun starts to break through, up steps Paul Nixon from the Peak District with his GSP Cloud. I do a lot of walked up shooting with this dog, starting August on the grouse and then go all the way through to February. Don't do hardly any driven shooting, it's all just over the dog. Because it's what they're bred for, it's, they're not peg dogs really, and they just love hunting. She's now seven and three quarters, so she, I think she's in her prime. I think GSP's mature around five years old, and they're really good up until about nine. And then after that, then you have to think about retiring them. But uh, she's, been, she's done really well this season, she's been on fire. Having seen previous competitors, I thought the scent was poor, uh, poor but um, she showed her experience by being a bit steadier, also being able to get round the game and hold it for me. So that partridge, really nice point, held it, produced it for me, so made the shot really easy, the first shot really easy. The pheasant was a bit more difficult. She knew it was there, but struggled to get round it, eventually got round it, pointed it, but just as she pointed it, it jumped. So that's why it was a second shot, because it's easy to set yourself straight off the point if you've got a, a delay in that point and flush. So you're in control of the situation when you've got the point and flush. Yeah. When the birds jump, you don't have that. So it's, it's better um, doing it that way. Right. So the partridge was the better shot, the better production and yeah. the better shot yeah. for me. Yeah. So you have to have two pieces of game. I got those in the bag. So once I achieved that, then it was just a case of running the dog and showing her. Uh, so she scored maximum points, 30 out of 30. So she held her into the bargain up. Um, so, yes, I was pleased. There's one competitor left to run, but Paul's performance is unbeatable. He collects the trophy. Marlin hasn't placed, but she's very happy with how Texas performed. Yeah, I was really chuffed with, with him um, up until the last five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he uh, yeah, he hunted really nicely and uh, yeah, he, he's really grown up just in the last few months and yeah, yeah I'm really tough. As I say, he's normally a very pointy dog. Um, for him not to have any tells me a lot about the scenting conditions. I think it went as well as we could have expected and more really. I think everybody had a really lovely day. Everybody says they want to do it again. So I can see this becoming a regular event, um, you know better way to spend the day than shoot over your own dog. <laughs> you can find Marlin on Instagram and for more about the UK St Hubertus Cup, there's a group on Facebook. Links to both below. <laughs>